So when I got back to my office and started thinking about it, I realized that really what um, we weren't doing correctly is um, having the rows labeled as well as the columns. Um, so we had to actually aggregate the data first before we put it in the chart. So I think this is sort of something like what you want. And you can, um, under chart types, you can ch check and uncheck these boxes. And it kind of changes the way that looks. But let me show you how I did it. Um, so I just um, made another sheet and just put the medium household income and the quality average. And then what I wanted to do is find out for this income how many were low, how many medium, how many medium, medium low, medium high, very high. So the last income level I have to do would be this 27 income level. So I'm going to just copy that. I'll put it up here. And I'm using the formula that called count if. Um, and you can actually um, just copy the formula and paste it each time. And when you do that, it's the same. See, it's B51 to B119. But really, right now, I want for this income level, I want to go B119 to B179. So B119. To 179. Hit enter. So there's no low. Actually, copy paste that. So here, I got the correct range, but I really want it to say medium low. So I can change that in here. None there. Um, how about medium? Oh, <laughs> see, look what happened. I'm like, that shouldn't be zero. That shouldn't be zero. This turned to C. Should have noticed that. When you, it tries to automatically figure out what you want. Yeah, that looks better. See, so if I copy and paste this, it's going to try to figure out that I want row C, but I actually don't. I still want B. It's the right range. Um, and then I want high. Whoops. And then here. Yeah. Again, updated. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to put very high. This is oh, count, count, count it. And then if I select that table and insert the chart um, and go to the kind of chart I want, it can be either one. And then I need to aggregate these headers, and there I go.